guys. So, um, it is still Tuesday. I am in more comfortable clothing. So, um, I just got done dropping all my stuff off at the fair. And, uh, as I was leaving, my mailman dropped this off. So, let me explain something to you. I am an idiot. Well, I'm a dit. It's not an idiot. There is a slight difference. Um, I forgot that I was only on month two of Knit Crate. So I, I went ahead and ordered the Darn Good Yarn box because I had a coupon code. So maybe Yay Yarn will be the third box I do. But um, this actually got here before Knit Crate. So I thought I'd go ahead and do an unboxing with you. And when my Knit Crate gets here next week, we will talk about what I felt about the Vitalana, I think it's called, yarn. I appear to be the only person who got the pimento color. Um, but yeah, so we will discuss my Knit Crate projects from August and September as we do the unboxing for October for Knit Crate, which will be the my third month, third and final month with Knit Crate. Um, box number two, I guess it's going to, will overlap October and I'll do darn good yarns October, November, and December now. So, but let's see what's inside. I uh, just opened the back. I didn't, didn't open it and look in it yet. So, let's see. This looks a lot like the Knit Crate yarn from September. The one that I'm doing the crochet shawl with looks very, very similar. So I did do the $5 extra gift. This is my hank of yarn for the regular thing. Sport weight silk yarn, Caribbean current. 200 yards, 50 grams, fine tooth. It's very pretty. It's that, that same robin's egg, and it's got the pink, and this one actually has purple and pink speckling in it. It's very pretty. Um, worsted weight silk roving and watercolors. So my light is very, very yellow. Um, it is currently like four o'clock. This side of my house is uh, northeast. And you can see like, obviously the light keeps playing off of this. The, the d windows are on this side. Normally I film in the front of the house this time of day as the sun is still over the house, but for some reason it's still behind the house. I think we're getting some weird reflection back there today. Wow, I really... I just look rough. It's funny. I thought, oh, I thought they only sent one, either the crochet hook or the knitting needle. Well, that's kind of cool. So I will actually, like, if there's a project in here for this, I will um, use the, the hook or the needle There we go. for the project if it's the right size. Um, I don't know how I feel about the painting. I know a lot of people haven't had really good luck with the Darn Good Jarn um, subscription. But I was still curious. These are size eight, five millimeter. And the crochet hook is marked the same way as a US size. So the hook is marked like a knitting needle. Um, instead of being marked as an, I think an H is the five millimeter size. It's marked as a eight numeral which is the same as my knitting needle. I am concerned with the paint on these not lasting. Yeah, all of them are marked 
As for knitting, and they do have their little logo on there. Um, on, um, I don't want to say it, it's, it feels plasticky, which to me I associate to being un, um, unsealed. Um, I don't use a lot of wood hooks and needles that have been painted. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how they hold up. We'll see how they work. But I will use these either, well, since this is an H, this is the only yarn I think I could, unless it's a super, super light thing in here. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that works. Let's see. Got a little booklet. And my booklet. No, the yarn, the yarn is the cake, is the worsted weight. Worsted weight silk roving, size seven to nine needles. So they give you a, a gauge range. It says you need 75 yards, which is, what that is. So, um, ombre knitting needles and hook pack. Snow big deal cowl. I don't have any way to uh, show you that. And then it's a ripple cowl for the crochet pattern. So my special prize or special gift for $5 appears to be this. And this is my monthly order yarn. So, um, I will do, let's see. <laughs> I can't. It's a basic textured stitch for the knit. Huh. There, I, well, I guess I can show you this one. I can just cover this part. That's the crochet pattern. And that's the knit pattern. Um, I will... I don't know. I don't know which one to do uh, with this one. Um, I will probably do the knitted cowl. And uh, I mean, the colors on this are really, I really wish the light weren't so yellow. I, I, I had to use my overhead light fan. Like, I can't film in the craft room right now because it's still too dark. The front of the house is uh, exploded with Halloween decoration boxes. As you can see, we've been decorating over there. Um, so like this is the only room I can film in today, aside from the study, which is kind of blown up too. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's very, very pretty yarn. I My immediate impression is this should be your monthly subscription yarn that comes with a pattern. But this is the only, the pattern goes for this. So I'm, Mom. Um, so yeah, um, in the month of October, I, I guess I'll be doing something with the two of these. Um, I do really like this one. I think this one's really, really pretty. Uh, this one is 75 yards of worsted weight. Yeah. So it's not that much, but the box isn't that expensive. It was, I mean, the box was like five bucks. I mean, it wasn't, I wasn't expecting the quantity of what you get from like Knit Crate, but I'm a little, um, I'm more excited about the extra than I am my monthly subscription yarn. And I'm a little concerned 
with the, I don't know if you can see how the, it looks like acrylic paint on the needles. Um, So I'm worried that's just gonna rub off and then what's the point of having painted needles if the paint just rubs off immediately. So we shall see. I will do something with both balls though. I'll, I'll do one of the cowl patterns with the worsted weight and then I'll, I'll figure out what to do with the uh, fingering weight. Um, I said it's only 200 yards. So once again, that's, you could maybe get a nice little scarfette or shawlette or something out of it um oh there's like a darker blue I, I didn't quite see that to begin with i mean it's a really pretty this one is a really pretty yarn and for what i paid like i feel like my value is in this like if this were my monthly subscription yarn with a pattern that i would be happy about so and there's nothing else in here and i haven't gotten any emails or anything to list as you know, what is what? So we'll see. We'll see uh, how it works. This is one I will probably also, by the time I'm done, because they're all going to be the silk rovings and uh, recycled silks uh, fibers to begin with. So I do want to wash one of the projects, um, silk behaves differently sometimes in yarn before it's been washed and after it's been washed. So I do want to see how it behaves after being washed. But I'll give it, once again, I am I have been proven wrong a number of times. So I'm willing to take the chance that this is better than I think it's going to be. Um... I did finally get cast on for September's Knit Crate, so that will hopefully make an appearance in my Whips video, my my uh, Whips UFOs, FOs, what, <laughs> what has Carrie been doing? Um, hopefully that I'll make an appearance in that. Um, so far so good. Uh, also a silk yarn. <laughs> uh, and I think my Knit Crate is supposed to be here next week. So I will uh, spend some more time talking about how I felt about September's box, you know, then too. So, but darn good yarn, unboxing month number one, um, mixed feelings. I don't want to be negative about it, but um, because I haven't tried it, but first impressions are meh overall so um we will see how it goes um take it easy <laughs> i'll uh be back on thursday with a normal vlog post and uh i'm gonna stop babbling like an idiot and uh take a break Maybe eat something today. So I'll uh, see you on Thursday. Bye.